All right, this is literally my first target, and I'm seeing something lovely in the scoop. You see it? First target, and we got what I am really thinking is 14 carat, really, really nice cross ring. Look at this. I haven't been out here for more than five minutes. Great find, great, great, great find. Well, it's not the nicest day out, but this is a Labor Day weekend. And this is similar to what we do every year where we hit these bays. I've already pulled out that really incredible gold cross ring. And then nothing but about four or five zinc pennies until another great signal. And I'm seeing something very nice in the scoop. And the way it came out, it has to be silver. The second ring. I think it's silver, looking a little bluish to me. Well, I just couldn't pass up on this signal, even though it took me about 20 minutes to find it. it. kept falling back in the hole. I knew it was a higher signal than just a random quarter, and it certainly is. It's a nice big old dollar piece. It was worth the work. This one came up a pretty strong signal too. I don't recognize it right now, but it looks pretty much like a foreign coin. Strangely enough, with my glasses on, I don't see up close as well. So we'll get a better picture of that in a minute. I believe it might be a hat trick for the day. There could be a third ring sitting in my scoop. Do you see it? It's coming up silver. It appears to have some bling to it. I don't doubt those are real, but that definitely is a third ring for the day. First point of the day. Don't think it's real, but it's airing. Found in the high tide lines, so that's where I'll continue. Kids are back in school. Fall season about to begin, even though there's a couple weeks left of summer. 
as soon as the kids go back to school, fall hunting season begins. The weather changes immediately. The tide starts to take out the sand. And fall is generally a fantastic time to treasure hunt. Oh my god. And you can see already some knucklehead fishermen left their clams and of course a knife that broke but they decided I'm gonna leave this here anyway I'll take the knife can't fit the clams I have an interesting section here that definitely had some erosion you can see all kinds of wood starting to come out and through my history especially when it's wood with some like pegs on it it's always an interesting area to scout out and look a little deeper on Every once in a while, something does come out. These metal pieces that are now starting to surface. This stuff has a lot of history to it. Here's the section I usually pull out some interesting wood pieces. And um, although I find this interesting, you might not. It's a little wood ball. Not really sure what that's to. But I'm probably going to keep it anyway. My main objective in this area is to find bottles. And I'm looking at this piece thinking it's another interesting piece of wood. But that's not wood. That is, that is a tiny little bottle. I'm not going to say it's super old right now. It's a cork tub. Seems to be in decent condition. Well, this could be interesting to clean up. It's stuck here. I gotta look even closer. These tiny bottles tend to hide on you. This is what I'm looking for. No ideas yet. I like the fluorescence. <laughs> I like the fluorescence on it. it. May right now look like a twist off. She's buried in there nicely. I'm not gonna say she got washed in. I think but she probably got uncovered. Uh, the twist off is interesting. I think I see some writing on this little bugger. Hmm, what's your story? Look at you. Kern bro. Disinfectant. What's the age on you? Insect. Destroyer? That's a strong name. Smith's Insect Destroyer. Look how nice and colorful that is. Well, I'm gonna date that back. This might be older than I think. Interesting. What is your story? I'm gonna go with very late 19 or early 1900s. I'm gonna say 1910 on this one. I don't see any bubbles in the glass, but this thing sure is interesting looking. What'd you come out of? Is there any more? Why'd you come out right here?
you gotta be kidding me. This is why you gotta look all over. I walked right here on the way down and never saw this sticking out. So I backtrack. What the Hector? Hello. Got some writing on you. Cork top. You're exactly what I'm looking for. You're the third bottle of the day. Just sitting here. Waiting for me to pick it up. How did I miss this on the way down? I don't believe it. What do you say? Cooper, druggist. It's hard to see the sunlight, but there's something else there. It's probably a team company. I'm going to say close to that early 1900s again. No scratches, no dings. It's a great bottle right there. This is the time of year. Same time of year, fall hits. Why it happens like this, I'm not sure. The tide start pushing the older, pushing the older bottles up. Get out of there. That's gonna be druggist, 303 Hudson Street, New York. Look at that. And there's bubbles. That's right at 1900s, maybe a little bit earlier. And there's the cleaned up version. I just can't believe that was sitting there and I missed it on the way down. I cannot believe it. Well, in this kind of wash, you really got to keep your eyes peeled because out of nowhere, pieces start to show up. It's just a memorial penny, but it is a penny in this wash right here. You can see there's a wet weight right here. I saw something over here. Yeah, this is a little fishing lure. Right there. So I gotta look a little closer. And interestingly enough, these are highly indicative of this time of year, too. This is when I start to find the old, yeah, the old pocket knives. Look at this thing. It's almost like clockwork. It's hard to tell from this angle, but there is definitely a design on top of this chip. I'm not sure if it was a plain piece, but it's a circle with a bunch of kind of floral designs around it. Got something here. Uh, might be a strap side whiskey flask, which I found here before. And it is, look at this. Same area. Tiny, might be a half pint, I'm not sure. 
Metro. This could be 1920s, probably right at about 100 years old. And it's going to go right to my amber collection. Bubbles in it. Yep. It's a score. See where that thing managed to hide? I only saw the edge of it. I was pretty convinced that was just a broken end. But it's not. It's right in there. What else you got in here? 